Okay, we're gonna be jumping in the next one on the list. Uh, just dear Esther. Uh, again, this is gonna be a demo, uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> um, just gonna give it a quick uh, first impression. I haven't tried this one out yet. I've been pretty excited to try this one. Uh, animations look really well graphically, so which is always nice to see out of a independent game. Okay, this is the opening menu screen. Uh, I gotta say, actually, really like this opening screen. Um, I'm not sure really the significance of it yet, but uh, it's definitely giving me a good mood uh, for the game, where I think it's going to bring me. Um, again, uh, which I'm finding with the first few games is you really don't know what's going on when you start it up, uh, which I think is a problem. A little more information I think is always good. I think it's that little extra bit of polish that makes the game more easy to use. Um, and I really don't know what's going on. It's kind of a anticlimactic loading screen. It's a little cutscene there. Uh, so, had some good voice acting in it, um, which is always great to see in an independent game. Um, again, like I was saying before, this doesn't really give you too much information on what you're doing. Uh, or it just kind of seem like a game where you're meant to explore. Again, this game is definitely very well done in terms of graphics. Uh, it's very nice visual. It's right off the bat, really makes you want to take it all in. It's kind of a nice touch when you enter the dark room. Your flashlight comes on. That's Definitely will give it some ease of use. I'm really finding the little details in this game to be um, pretty amazing. Uh, you can actually see the spiral going up into the lighthouse. It's very cool visual. Um, this painting on the wall, which I'm not too sure of its significance. Um, it's a pretty interesting touch to it, though. Uh, I'm sure. 
as the story progresses you'll be learning more about that. Uh, and again, uh, it's, the game's not really giving you too much information in terms of your controls. pretty basic keyboard and mouse uh, controls for movement, uh, your W forward, S back, A left, E right, uh, move your mouse to look, I left mouse click, you're going to zoom in a little bit, that uh, doesn't appear the right mouse does anything. trying to figure out any of the other keys uh, have any real purpose. It doesn't actually appear so. I have to say, uh, even though complaining about the lack of information this game gives you, uh, I'm finding it really interesting. It's actually kind of the basis of the game. Uh, as you'll hear in the story, the uh, narrator is talking about creating these vacuums and filling them with sadness. Uh, it's definitely making a lot of sense with the world that they created here. It's definitely dreary. Um, these soft, uh, long string instrument notes, a little cello and violin. Uh, it's giving a very somber feel. That's really makes you want to explore it more. Um, right off the bat, uh, I could say about this game. It's if you're really looking for a good story um, and not looking for a lot of action and uh, excitement. It's definitely a good game to play. Um, I mean, I still gotta say, a con to it is uh, it's definitely a confusing game to get into. Um, but I find uh, a lot of people are probably gonna be very intrigued to learn more about it. Um, at the same time, I think a lot of people will be frustrated by this. Uh, 
That's really something you gotta can't really figure out until you jump in and try it. I mean, it's free. Um, but if you haven't tried it out yet, this is definitely a game you should jump into. Uh, just for the visuals of it, really. I'm probably going to be coming back more to this game uh, because I do find it so interesting.